a loud roar came from the crowd as the lights went out. Travis Kelsey stood behind the stage, fiddling with his microphone and attempting to calm his beating heart. It had been an exciting week. To celebrate winning the Super Bowl, they threw a huge party that made the news. In the middle of all the champagne and streamers, though, a bombshell went off that made Travis's world spin. Taylor Swift, his beautiful girlfriend and pop star, hinted in a sneaky way at a show that she was ready to get married. The media went crazy, spreading rumors and making people want answers. Now Travis felt like he was being weighed down by expectations. He knew that everyone would be watching him and reading his every word to find hidden messages. As he walked onto the stage, the bright light made him temporarily lose his bearings. The fans' cheers washed over him and took his mind off of the things that were going through his mind. He took a deep breath and started his prepared speech. He thanked his coaches and peers for always being there for him. But his voice got a little shaky when he talked about Taylor. He talked about how close they were, the adventures they had together, and the deep love that had grown between them. The crowd let out a chant of, boss, and Travis could feel a warmth going through his chest. The pressure was still there, though, in the background. He knew that everyone was waiting for him to do something sweet and amazing to propose, something that would fit their amazing love story. But Travis wasn't a man who snapped at things. He wanted to make a choice that was true to their relationship and showed that he had thought about it. After the event, they were taken away in a private car, and Taylor sat close to him with her eyes shining with love. She reached out and wrapped her fingers around his in a quiet sign of love and understanding. Travis gently squeezed her hand to reassure her, as if to say that he would find the right time and way to show how much he loved her. In the moment they walked into Taylor's fancy apartment, Travis felt calm. He understood that the stress wasn't from the people or the media, but from his own need to please Taylor. He was sure he wanted to spend the rest of his life with her, through good times and bad, and to grow old with her. The next morning, while they sipped coffee on the patio with a view of the city, Travis took Taylor's hand. He looked into those beautiful eyes that had caught his attention the moment they met. He smiled deeply and said, Taylor, I love you more than words can say. Because I want to spend all time with you. Will you marry me? Taylor laughed happily and her eyes filled with tears of joy. In that private moment, where they were both surrounded by their love, the stress went away and was replaced by the sweet hope of their future together. The crowd was loud, the lights were blinding, and the energy was exciting. Travis Kelsey had just scored another touchdown for the Kansas City Chiefs. The announcers were going crazy over his amazing catch. He was normally very happy as he ran toward the sidelines, but he was worried as he got closer. Taylor Swift, who has been his lover for two years, was in the stands and beaming with pride. Her smile was beautiful, but it also made me think of something. In the conversation that followed the game, a reporter asked her about getting married. Taylor replied with a smile, Travis is a great guy, and who knows what the future holds. I'm ready for anything. The news outlets were going crazy over what she said. Tabloids and fans alike were talking about how the Kelsey Swift wedding would happen and when Travis would propose. Taylor was very important to Travis. They were in love, best friends, and always up to something. But there was a lot of pressure. He wanted to propose on his own terms, not because of what the media said or what fans thought he would do. He didn't want Taylor to think he was taking too long, though. The pressure grew as the season went on. Every game, interview, and public event could have been a chance to ask the big question. Travis wasn't getting enough sleep, his performance on the field was getting worse, and their relationship, which used to be lighthearted, was beginning to feel tense. As they sat on the patio of their Kansas City penthouse one evening, Taylor could tell Travis was being tense. She looked into his eyes and took his hand. Her voice was soft, Travis, I love you. I really meant what I said in the interview. I don't want you to feel rushed, though. No matter what, I'm happy just being with you. What she said opened my eyes. It felt like Travis didn't have to carry as much weight. He realized that the outside forces had taken his attention away from what really mattered, their love for each other. A few weeks later, Travis made Taylor breakfast in bed on a quiet Sunday morning as a treat. She saw a small satin box tucked among the croissants as she reached for her coffee. 
She opened it with a shaking hand and saw a beautiful diamond ring inside. Travis got down on one knee next to her, and his eyes lit up with love. He asked her, Taylor, will you marry me? Taylor said, yes, with tears running down her face. It wasn't a big or fancy proposal, but it was right. It was a moment of pure love, when there were no outside stresses. With the Kelsey Swift engagement, the news was great, but for Travis and Taylor, it was just the start of their happily ever after. There were 80,000 mad people in the stadium, making it sound like a sea of red and gold pulses. The Kansas City Chiefs tight end, Travis Kelsey, loved the thrill of another winning game. But as he left the field, he felt pressure from his girlfriend, Taylor Swift, not the other team. Their quick romance had been all over the news, and reporters and fans alike had been following their every move. Travis was a stable athlete from a close-knit family who suddenly found himself in the strange world of pop star fame. Now, things were going in a very different direction. She recently said in an interview, I think it's time Travis put a ring on it. Her eyes were full of fun. We're not getting any younger. Even though the comment was meant to be funny, it shocked the media and Travis's life. At that moment, the issue of marriage stopped being a private matter between them and became a public show. Travis adored Taylor's wit, her love, and her endless imagination. He wasn't ready to get married yet, though. He valued his freedom, his job, and who he was as a person besides being Taylor Swift's boyfriend. As the media frenzy got worse, Travis turned to his family, his friends, and other people he trusted. Follow your heart, Trav, his brother Jason, who is also an NFL player, told him. Do not let anyone force you to do something you are not ready for. Andy Reid, his coach, who is known for being wise and understanding, told him to focus on the game, Travis. The rest will work out on its own. But the pressure built, the media wouldn't stop, and fans' rumors got worse and worse. When are you going to propose? Was the question that hung in the air every time Travis went outside. As night fell, the sun went down behind the city of Kansas City, turning the sky orange and gold. Travis found Taylor sitting on their balcony and looking at the stars. He softly said, hey, and sat down next to her. Hey yourself, she said, her voice a little sad. Travis took her hand and said, I know you feel stressed. I'm sorry too. I love you so much, Taylor. I'm not ready to get married yet. Not yet. She looked at him with eyes that were full of understanding. I know, Trav, she said in a low voice. I kind of was kidding. I was caught up in the moment. I love you too, and I don't want to rush you. Travis felt relieved as he pulled her close to him. Below, the city lights sparkled. He knew they had problems to solve and pressures to deal with. They were strong together, though, so they could handle anything.